tonight was a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Side top me how to doggy handle. Now I can swim. I wake up. She is on top of me. Get up on my channel. Your fifth advance and you still going. Is you trying to buy a drink or not? Okay, okay. Let me off this boat. Good morning. It is day. It's Thursday, day four. Breakfast. Oh, so you know how they've been talking shit, calling me Beyonce this whole trip. Why when we got off the boat, the photographer that's taking pictures talking about some come on Beyonce, Kelly and Michelle. And he wasn't calling you. <laughs> it don't matter. But it's just the fact it's just the fact that they tried to be funny and somebody else talking about some Beyonce, Kelly and Michelle. But we made it to Grand Circle. I'm on the, on it's two sides of the beach. One is like the left side, one is the right side. Um, I was over there taking pictures, now I came over here to take pictures. This is the view. You know, we gotta get the different angles. This is what we can add. Diamond and side are literally like all the way on the other side of the bridge. Yeah, let's see if we can find them. Probably can't. I thought this would be a good spot to take a picture, but it's a bunch of people walking by now. And I don't do well with taking pictures with a bunch of people around. So we're gonna wait till they leave. I think they're gonna get on this boat. We're gonna wait till they leave to take my pictures, and then we'll go from there. I need to get out the sun, because it's getting hot. So yeah, that's what's going on. Welcome to We moved from the beach to the pool. The cheese. Hey, what's up? Hi, friends. <laughs> A little bit too banana -y, but nevertheless Ooh, that smell like alcohol. Huh? You gotta put your tongue in it, scoop it, and slurp it. Y'all better make that water clap. <laughs> Judy, <laughs> damn, Judy, damn. I only know how to do the red look to see roll. I ain't got all that back there like she does. 11 o'clock. Okay, look, I don't like your phone this close. Water be splashing. Like you're trying to kill somebody. <laughs> She's at ready, set, go, chest to chest. Let's go. There you go. Go. Sit down. Bam. Bam. So clap. So clap. So clap. Ready. Show me what. Set. Everybody, I move. Go. Down, shallow. Go. Got a man coming at you. Sit. 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 Yeah. Sit. 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 She missed. <laughs> Ready, set, go. Holy shit, go, go ahead and break. 
Brace yourself, buddy. Bam. Bye. Is this a picture? No, video. We can't take a picture though. Can y'all see Diamond up there? I don't think you can. <laughs> If I, if I, if I just duck myself, then maybe I'll do it. It's not cold. Oh, okay. Again, baked beans, potato salad, macaroni, corn, vegetables. I think this is the best lunch I've had, or food. Eat dessert before your burrito. <laughs> Carol cake is good. You have to treat her like somebody's kid. <laughs> you got two so more I said you got two more times. <laughs> I don't think it was it wasn't until hey, dinner that I realized. Yes. No. Yeah, so last night. Now Diamond done this before. <laughs> we sleep, right? So I sleeping up there. Diamond in the bed. This is my bed. In the middle of the night, Diamond's also. Ah! I wake up. She is on top of me. One leg though. Just one leg on top of me. This damn girl having freaking nightmares. What's she running to? I don't know. So I said, because she did shit when we was at the house, y'all. She went. We, we used to live together, y'all know that. So me and side room was across from each other. Diamonds was a little bit down the hall. <laughs> One day, was we sleep? Yeah, we had just gone back. It was sleep in the middle of the night again. Yeah. In the middle of the night, we <laughs> going up and down the hallway. Get it off me. I'm like, I don't see nothing. I don't, I don't see it. The side check my underwear. <laughs> From the end, where y'all see, y'all go on my Instagram, that brown wall that I used to take pictures in, that's the end of the hallway. She was running from there all the way to the living room. Like, where are you? Back and forth. No, she went from the living room to the hallway. Like, so where, where was you going where in the first place? In the church. She coming down here. I'm thinking somebody broke in, we finna be got. This number, so she felt somebody pinching her. Oh, she, and it was the crap. She didn't say somebody. She said something. Something so pinched me. So, more of the story. If you that, sleeping with diamonds, be fucking work. I think when you go on dates, you need to tell people that. <laughs> I might wake up in the middle of the night screaming. That's worse than a nightmare because you actually moving. I do, yeah. Unless it's like a type of sleepwalking. Diamond. Yeah. That wasn't oh. no sleepwalking. Like full fledged, like screaming up the top of her lungs. Like if somebody was walking by, they probably would have been scared. A whole hot mess. So that was our night. I didn't give them an update, a rundown of our thing. So the first night, <clears throat> we ate at the diamond hall. And it was okay. Um, not bad, but it was just like okay. The second day, we did the brunch, the sea day brunch, and we ate a little late, so lunch was messed up. And then we had a late dinner. When we walked in, we saw way less than what we saw for lunch, the lunch buffet. So we thought we missed it, but now that we've gone to lunch, mm -hmm. um, dinner, it makes sense that that was regular dinner. So it's just the options probably weren't where we wanted, so we had like salad. Or whatever for dinner and then the third day which was yesterday we didn't eat lunch we ate breakfast oh we was on port yeah yesterday we didn't eat lunch at all we ate breakfast um we went to amber cove and then we came back took a shower and then we went to the buffet for dinner and today there's a barbecue place um here that i wanted to try and they closed at 2 30 so we had to come back before then to be able to eat and then we just started to get hungry um they wanted to get some nachos from margaritaville but the line was kind of long to be seated so we didn't do that but the lunch i had was the best lunch i've had the barbecue place is really good if you try anything i say try the barbecue place guys i guess i would say guys I like guys it's overrated the uh, I don't get the fries, so I don't really get chicken yeah. like that. But the burger itself and the cheese is good. If you like steak and shake, you gonna like guys. I don't know what steak and shake is. If you like Freddy's, smash burgers. 
Oh, what the fuck is that? Hello? Anybody we there? A, I'm sorry. We need a name for our outfits. We use the mustard tools last time. The Evergreen. Not Evergreen. You know evergreen ever Queens? No. Get team green. Get Money. The fuck? I'm talking about Evergreen Queens. I want to be Team Get Money. <laughs> okay, so I put the same thing back that I had on the other day. I mean, earlier today. Because we realized we all had green, so I just put the outfit on. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show y'all outfit. Let me show y'all this body though. I'm just kidding. Okay. She gonna put it in there. I don't think she's recording. She is it's definitely recording. Hi guys. Why would I be talking to the camera? Green, green, green. Where are we going? We don't know. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are taking shots now. The, the finished ones. We about to take this shot. Y'all seen us take shots before. Dang, your shot big. Deuces. Oh, let me take my camera. Ew, why did it taste like that? Make this really quick. We're at this, um... What's this, a show they're gonna be performing? Yeah, because we heard them singing from our room. Um, so yeah, probably dinner after we're gonna go to the dining hall and then um get and then I'm doing that now. Here's my lady of the night. No, like <laughs> But yeah, that's the plan. the dining room and realized that it's the same food as the buffet they trying to just want to be fancy with it so yeah mm, look at that pizza it reminds me of a a lunchable or something like a it's bread. everything we eat that compared to something processed <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Okay, thank you. Oh, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like the bread and the lunchables. Uh -huh, the pizza pizza lunchables. lunchables. But it's not even lunchables, though. It's even. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's even, though. They said y'all ain't gotta go home, but y'all gotta get the hiccup off my shit. We got a whole day left. Evil. Hey, pitch black. Don't. I can hear cracking everything. Girl. Wake up, nice and slow, and stretch it out because you've been sleeping, well dead, sorry. Are you ready to go?
ready, Jeffy. <laughs> oh, sorry. When the pimps in the crib, I'm dropping like it's hard. Walking 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 like it's hard.
annoying. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Get black pants on. Y'all, we gonna go get some pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. My phone died in the club getting ticked. That's right, we're getting in the club. We're getting in the It's empty out here, y'all. Damn, that's nasty. And she was so serious. It's so empty. Yeah, she told me about you. She said, my girl don't play. She's about to have a fucking What'd she say? My girl was talking all shit. What was she saying? Cause I didn't hear She was over you and uh. Good night. Boat rock him. <laughs> Probably not gonna be able to hear me, but good morning. It is day five. I do not feel well today. Um, they are pushing this chip, okay? Like, pushing it like super fast. You can feel it. The waves look big, too. So, that could be like a part of it, but I think I'm getting seasick. I threw up this morning, or like right before we left. And I just feel nauseous, so I don't know. I'm, I'm not feeling it. But um, we just came out here. I don't, I'm not sure what we're gonna do today. Diamond looked at the thing and said that she didn't see like a lot for us to do today, but we'll see. Um, we were gonna do breakfast, but we we're just not getting out of the room. And I don't even know if I can eat anything right now, just because the way my stomach is set up. So I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, that's how my morning is going. We are back. So, as y'all saw, what did we do? We had, we had lunch. Ice sculpting. We went. We looked at the ice sculpting, and then we were in the Serenity deck, or on the Serenity deck for a little minute, maybe like two hours. Is that long? We really there that long? It's almost four o'clock. Oh. Yeah. Like an hour and a half. We're about to go up there now. We're about to go to a pool. And then probably come back and shower. And I don't know what's after that. Dina? I'm lucky hungry. It's only one inch off. This <laughs> idea. And Diamond. Cheese. Is teaching me how to swim. You are an object moving the to go to this show i told diamond if we have not done anything else on this trip we have showered <laughs> it's ridiculous how many showers we've taken 
but we are all wearing black tonight i don't like the way i look i got darker and my makeup doesn't match and my hair is wet so it's not giving yet but nevertheless this is outfit just all black something simple heels dress probably can't see it and yeah catch up with you guys later we like to hear no it's any of them right junior vip as they hear in inches in miles of laughter and strife how about off this boat let me off this boat we are almost close well, what time is it? to home not 10 15. Right oh my baby girl yeah call her did we see her today we did yeah um we are very close to home and they slowed this boat down it does not move like it was before they realized he was doing a little bit too much he didn't even have to be speeding like that um, but yeah, my body is breaking out so bad from the heat. Where the paper at? Oh, it's starting. Uh, oh, please exit your stateroom before 8 30. That's what I thought he said. I think they said they start. We started at 7 30. We begin calling your muster station as indicated. Simply bring your luggage without any luggage tags when your muster station is called and make your way. To gangway on deck three forward. Let me off this boat. I'm ready to be home. Yeah, I am so happy that Sai taught me how to doggy paddle. Now I could do a little summon swimming pool. <laughs> what what you got? We're gonna be outside for the summer because I know how that doggy paddle. Yeah, doggy paddle. Me and my niece finna be outside. Keep racing the monogram. Who, me? Little Catherine. <laughs> oh, as yeah. Um, that was going fast. That was the highlight of my trip, learning how to doggy paddle. So thank you, Sonia, for that. What well, has been the highlight of y'all trip? Oh, my friend, and I regret it. She's trying to say that she's sick. I'm like, oh, no, nah, she gotta go. Actually, the name I swear I don't even fucking know. I ain't clean, I ain't clean. Y'all, I said I need to leave. 
Because I will not be getting up. Who are you talking to? You. Why are you you be catching such an attitude? That was not it. Just saying. Okay. Right. Anyway, we left the club. I need to pack. And so I need to definitely need to be leaving, Miss. Want to sleep till ten o'clock? Y'all get it up and wash y'all ass. I ain't washing shit. I just wash my ass. Yep. Going home to get in my bed. Going home to go wash my ass. Um. I need to finish packing. Because we have to be up early tomorrow. And I think I want to take a shower in the morning. So, yeah. Okay, so I will talk to y'all in the morning. Because it's nighttime and it's time to go to bed. So they can let us off this boat. I'm so glad to get off because. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's time to let me off this boat. Ah, let me off this boat. Let me off this boat. We're going home. Are you excited? No. Are you excited? I am. I got a baby. I got a baby. We are getting off this boat. Get off this boat. All right, about to go get some food, and I will talk to y'all when we are in the airport. Bye. Okay, yeah, so believe it or not, it has been like a month, almost a month. Tomorrow will make a month since we've been back from our cruise, and I just wanted to come on here and quickly give you all an update and close out the video because the last clip that you all saw when we woke up the next morning, ate breakfast, and basically just got off the ship, and I didn't record any of that um, just because I didn't know like how long it would take and what that process would be like, so um yeah i'm just gonna give you all like a quick update as far as debarkation it went really quick for us we um i don't know if it's called this disembarkation whatever it's called when you get off the boat so we had our flight leave at three o'clock i think they start letting people off at like eight i think our boarding group was h a b c d e f g h I don't know we were one of the the faster they do it by your muster station so the muster stations are lettered a through whatever and they let you off by your muster station and we were the earlier ones so we got off maybe like around nine ten o'clock or something like that and then we used goport for our transportation to and from the airport and um so we got off pretty early but of course with goport they're going to try to transport as many people they can to get their money's worth so we were sitting there i kid you not for like an hour like the bus came so after we got off we went straight to goport and um the bus came maybe not even 15 minutes after we got off and then we sat there for like another hour waiting for them to for the bus to get full so that we could leave um so we got to the airport maybe around 12 and then our flight um left around three i think it was actually delayed a little bit so that's a little bit later but all in all the process to get off the boat wasn't wasn't hard for us we also carried our suitcases off so you have the option to put your suitcase out at night and they the cruise porters or whatever they're called will um take them off for you and then once you get to the main area you can pick it up or you can just carry it off yourself we just chose to carry it off ourselves because i don't know why but it, i mean if you can carry your stuff i say just do that because it's faster it's easier you don't have to worry about trying to find your luggage and things like that but overall the process wasn't bad because maybe like 15 20 minutes to get off the boat into the go, go port area that we needed to go to let's just talk about embarkation so embarkation is when you get on the cruise and that was like surprisingly like really simple when you check in for your cruise you're given like a time for which you can um check in and things like that i think our slot was like 11 or 12 11 30 something like that but it was really a smooth process um as long as you have like all of your documents you really shouldn't have an issue with that so that process was really smooth really easy um it didn't take us long to be able to go to our room either so like we ate uh when we first got on the ship as you all saw we ate did a little bit of walking around and i think around i don't even want to get the line our room wasn't it didn't take us a long time for our room to get ready so of course the earlier you get on the ship the longer it will take but since we got on at like 11 30 12 it didn't take us that long the room was surprisingly bigger than what i remember so i've never been on a carnival cruise before but i've been on royal caribbean and from what i can remember 
the room was really small but for three of us to be in a room i don't think it was small like the only issue is really like the bathroom but we took turns getting ready and stuff like that so it really wasn't that big of a deal but yeah the room was like a pretty decent size um compared to what i was expecting of course it's small i'm not saying that it's not small it just wasn't really like a struggle trying to get around the room or anything like that so activities i think i mentioned this in some part of the vlog but the thing that i enjoyed about a five-day cruise is that you really don't have to try to rush and do everything while you're there because the activities repeat itself so if you are interested in like the singles mixer or um uh, what else did they have most a lot of nights karaoke the comedy shows a lot of the stuff repeats so you don't have to try to get to it in the first two days like you can kind of take your time figuring out what you want to do once you get on the ship you'll have access to the itinerary so you can kind of see like what days have what like i think the scavenger hunt thing was only once so you'll be able to see so that you know that on this day at this time you need to go to the scavenger hunt because they don't offer it any other times seasickness so um we had seasick patches that i bought from amazon so if you all see the video it's like this little band-aid looking thing that you put behind your ear and i'm gonna say that it was working because i wore them so i don't really know that it didn't work until that final day that final at that final day at sea they were pushing that ship when i tell you going a thousand miles per hour they were going so fast i guess like just trying to ensure that we get back on time i don't know if we didn't leave on time or what but compared to going to the destinations coming back was way faster so that last day at sea so that must have been friday i ended up throwing up i was so nauseous like i just couldn't and i ended up putting the seat patch back on so i guess that helped because i was able to eat lunch and i felt better so yeah i just say get it use it like you may feel fine on your way there but on the way back i feel like they go faster or there may be other things that are affecting how fast they are able to go so something may happen on you all's way there and they have to go fast there so i just say just get it to be on the safe side like um when on the royal caribbean one i didn't get seasick at all and i don't think i took any medicine on royal caribbean so if i would have went off the strength of that i would have been looking drove because i ended up getting sick so i say just get some motion sick me medicine um we got the patches because with dramamine it makes you drowsy and you're not supposed to be mixing alcohol with it so we just got the patches because yep last thing the food and the drinks so I'm kind of upset with Carnival and I don't know why I was expecting something better. I have never been a fan of food that's like made for a large amount of people because I feel like it's just the lowest of lowest qualities. Like if you go out of town on an all-inclusive resort, don't expect the food to be the best food that you've ever had. And I should have went in with that same mindset for this cruise. So the food, so of course like the specialty restaurants like Guy's, um, Sign them Try the blue iguana which is like a taco burrito place we tried the barbecue place um so those are obviously better like they taste better i didn't try the mexican one but guys was decent it wasn't nasty i mean it wasn't the best but it tastes better than the other food and the barbecue place honestly was my favorite food that i had there the whole time so of course those places are you know a little bit better but the buffet and the dining room i give them like a four out of ten it's just hor i won't say horrible but it's just it's not the best like mm, i don't know and then the dining room they you think it's fancier food but it's really not it's the same thing that they have at the buffet that same night so the dining room they have brunch too um brunch was just okay but for dinner we went one night for dinner we went to go see what the buffet had and decided that we didn't really feel we weren't feeling what the buffet was having so we ended up going to the dining hall and the entrees were the exact same they just give you like a little bit smaller portion of course it's not dining hard because it's supposed to be like fine dining and then um yeah so i don't know why they do that but it it was the same food and it was just mediocre diamond and sidekick comparing it to like processed food um so like the pizza that we had they said it tastes like a lunchable so it just 
it's given made for a large number of people so don't expect it to be the best and honestly people have different taste buds and stuff like that so what tastes good to me or to you may not taste good to somebody else so take what i'm saying with a grain of salt but i'm still saying don't expect it to be the best food that you've ever had and then the drinks we're not hitting for some reason and then when we got back we saw a tiktok about how when you're ordering drinks you should probably specify the type of liquor that you want because they're probably going to give you bottom of the barrel um so like if you want a mojito like specify the type of rum that you want if you want a margarita specify the type of i think margaritas have tequila so specify the type of tequila that you want to ensure that it's going to be the quality that you want and then we also bought alcohol and the alcohol still wasn't hitting so i'm not sure i like to say that my tolerance is getting up there but also sign diamond weren't feeling anything either um i think the night that we probably got the most lit is the night where we had on the green that was a really good night um, but also when I look back at the vlog we literally have been drinking like all throughout the day so that could also be a be why but yeah um food was just okay the drinks were just okay but also I feel like specifying the type of liquor that you want may help and then I think overall like I like cruises but the only thing that I don't like about cruises is that and I said this before we even went on one you don't get enough time to really explore the destination that you went to so even though we stopped in Turks and Caicos in the Dominican Republic, I wouldn't necessarily say that I went to Turks and Caicos in the Dominican Republic. But that's just me. I mean, I've been to the Dominican Republic before on an all-inclusive resort. Um, and this was at the time where like a lot of people were dying, I think, because of the water or something. And Diamond and my sister were too scared to get off the resort, so we didn't really get off the resort. But to me, that felt more like being there because we were there for a long amount of time and things like that versus with a cruise you're literally only docked for like six to eight hours and then you leave so you don't really get to experience like what the island or country whatever you stop at has to offer um i do say it's like really a, a fun experience in general i think people who go on cruises don't necessarily go to visit a specific island or something like that they go just be they go just for like the cruise experience so um and that was we i think we had a really good time in general um on the cruise i think all together i probably give it like a like a eight out of ten just off of the strength of the food and the drinks and yeah if the food and the drinks were better it would be definitely a 10 out of 10 but um yeah we were talking about going on another one soon or you know how every time you come back from being somewhere you're always ready to go again that's how that's that's the spot that we're in right now but yeah it was really nice i would definitely go again i think with in general with vacations it's about what you make it like some people hate cruises some people don't like them some people say they're not fun they're boring and all this i think it's really about what you do what you make um one night i didn't go out besides i met some friends at the club and we kept seeing them at the club so you have to like literally like get out there and meet people and like do things because or else it's going to be boring like if you sit in your room or sit on the deck all day it's going to be boring but there are so many things for you to do on a cruise so if your cruise experience is bad as far as like activities and things like that it's probably because you don't know how to have fun that's i'm just going to say that it's probably because you don't know how to have fun so yeah that's all i gotta say honestly if y'all have any questions or anything like that just feel free to leave a comment down below but as always i want to thank you all for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see and talk to y'all in my next one